Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday, I did a couple of boil tests with this Vargo titanium pot that I borrowed from Nightwalker 2830. I used it on the Trangia West Wind Stove combination, except I turned it upside, turned the stove part upside down. Got up this morning, had a bunch of emails from people asking me, why am I using it upside down? Apparently they missed my earlier videos where I showed that there is a difference uh, between using it the way it was designed and flipping the stove upside down but putting the burner on the, the surface. I don't think there's enough gap between the top of the Trangia to the bottom of the pot with the way it stands. So I'm going to do another quick test here using the uh, Bargo on this using the West Wind the way it was supposed to be used. Now I thought this would be cool when I first bought it because it isolates, it lifts the uh, burner up off the ground and hangs it right here, but uh, over the test it doesn't seem to work quite as well as I thought. One other little note about this Vargo Titanium. I've never had this happen with any of my other pots this is an example of like why they make manhole covers round. Do you ever get that question? Why are they round? Why aren't they square? Well because if you had a square manhole if you want to put it into the hole you could have it drop right through. So that's why they make round ones. They won't drop through. But for some reason on this <clears throat> the cover does drop through. If you turn it a little bit to the side it's real touchy. I mean if you put it on flat, nice and straight, it works. But like when I put my temperature probe in there, it makes it collapse down in. I don't know. Have you ever run into that or is that just this one? So what I have here is two cups of water. Oh, maybe I should start the burner first. Let that start up while I'm talking here. We'll do that for the 30 seconds. I have two cups of water here. Put that in. Stick the probe in, put the lid. Okay. So the water is setting at, let's say, 59 degrees. Room. Okay, there's the 30 seconds. Put that on. The room temperature is 58, humidity 47. It's sunny but breezy out. So let's see where this goes. Okay, there we have 210. To 11, to 12 at 10:45. Okay. In this test, I took two cups of water starting at 58 degrees. Using it, see now that's what I'm saying. See how the lid just popped right down into the water. I don't know. That, oops, that's really gone down. There. That could be a dangerous situation. Uh, what was I saying? Two cups of water starting at 58 degrees in this test using the West Wind stove right side up came to a boil in 10 minutes 45 seconds. In the previous test where I turned this upside down, put the burner on the tabletop, uh, two cups of water starting at 57 degrees came to a boil in 6 minutes and 29 seconds so that's over like over 4 minutes extra to get to boil time using the west wind stove right side up and this is the same kind of a thing that I've gotten on the other tests that this side up right side up takes longer than if I turn the stove upside down and again I think it's because the distance from the top of the Trangia 
to the bottom of the pot isn't enough in this form. Now maybe the trangia rests on the stove right here. <clears throat> right here. Maybe if this was cut out and lowered some, I don't know, quarter inch or so, maybe that might improve the time. If you don't want to cut your west wind stove, the pot stand, just put this on the ground then. If you're doing it in the winter though, you might want to put some sort of insulator or something underneath here. I have a piece of cardboard with aluminum tape on it that I use when I go out in the winter. It acts as a reflector and it insulates the uh, trangia from the cold ground. Okay, well again I thank Nightwalker2830 for the use of his pot. I have a couple more tests I think I want to do on it. I want to try to make something in it and see how it goes. I thank those of you that asked why do I use the West Wind stove incorrectly. I always look forward to your input, your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the second ten. And I know it's never gonna.